I just want to say sorry to my hair right now um, and I didn't do this on purpose I mean I did for the video but it's just for content you know so I usually wouldn't do this to you but today we're doing this but tomorrow we will be back on our regular schedule amen hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today i am doing a video you know like i never actually thought i would do something like this but why not so today i'm going to be doing my hair with products that i used to use back in the day when there wasn't very many curly hair products in the black hair section of the store that little aisle was this Big. I went and found some of the staples that I always used and today we're gonna do my hair with those products and see what they do to my hair now okay so let me tell you a story I used to drench my hair in grease back in the day drench it it was greasy but it kept my curls all nice and like wet looking so if you want white curls this might be the thing for you so we're starting out on a clean slate like I'm gonna do the full routine that I used to do and I'm also gonna let it air dry like I used to. We're gonna see what it looks like at the end of the day. This should be interesting. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you the products that I used to use. Let me just, let me just give you a little rundown. I used to use these products in my hair. Pink lotion, mousse, this Carefree Curl Gold Instant Activator, and then, <laughs> you know, the good old oldie right here, Blue Magic coconut oil hair conditioner. This is the grease. This is the grease that I used to drench in my hair. If you're black and have curly hair, I know your mom used to put this in your hair. I know you used to put this in your hair. And if you, you're gonna say you didn't, I know you're lying. You're lying. Anyway, so time to start. <laughs> this is gonna be so weird. So first product that I used to put in my hair, boom. This Soft Sheen Carefree Curl Gold Instant Activator. It says dual conditioning for natural or curly hair. All right, come on, I know you use this too. Pretty much, comment down below how many of these products you used back in the day, back in the early 2000s. I'm gonna get a good smell of it, you know? I feel like they were slight different. It might have changed a little bit. Like what? I used to get a lot of this and then just put it throughout my hair. It says it activates and moisturizes in one easy step, restores, curls, smooths hair, and adds sheen. Leaves hair feeling silkier, looking livelier, never greasy or stiff. It's, ooh, 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 stiff what, stiff what? For real, stiff what? Ooh, ooh, no what? Stiff what? Well. No! Yep. All right. <laughs> this is so bringing back all the memories you know it's very nice to see that the black section at targets and any stores that have hair products have grown you know one time i went to a walmart i think it was out in denver somewhere in colorado there was a whole aisle the whole not a section in the aisle the whole aisle was for black hair products that was exciting to see and um, yeah, I know not all the stores are like that, but that was a that was nice to see. And all the sections do have a bigger section now. And it's about time. It took you long enough. So I put all that sheen stuff in my hair. My hair feels weird, to be honest. Like it's wet. It feels like I put like a watery conditioner in my hair, if that makes sense. Next up, pink lotion. You know. I don't even think this is the same brand unless they just changed the packaging. Looks different, but this is Luster's Pink Oil Moisturizer Hair Lotion. Um, has vitamin E. Anyway, so this, I know I didn't put that much in my hair because these two are the greasiest things I've ever used in my life. But I love them. Time to get the pink lotion. Oh, that wasn't even my palm. Still got the same white pink texture. Smells like pink lotion. Now I'm just gonna Put it in my hair. Wow, like this is literally what my hair used to feel like back in the day. Very interesting. I can feel the difference already, just putting it in my hair. Okay. Shoot, I feel like I got enough product in my hair right now. But, I gotta do them all. Next up, 
time for the blue magic. This right here. I'm telling you, I used to drench my hair in this like crazy. So much that back in like middle school, people would be like, dang, my elbows are ashy, I need some lotion. Come here, Jasmine. Rub my head and then put it on their elbows or something because they all knew my hair was greasy. So you know, like I came in handy back in middle school for them ashy kids. Another thing, PE. We used to have a gray uniform that we had to wear, gray t-shirt, red shorts. It was like a light gray shirt and it had like our school logo claque, whatever on it. And then the back of mine was stained dark gray. Like, you know, like if your hair is wet and it touches your back of your shirt and it gets wet. Mine was stained like that because of the grease. It wasn't wet, it was just greasy. And like I would wash it and it wouldn't come out. So this stuff was in my PE uniform all year long. It still smells great, like I used to section, like I'm telling you, I used to section my hair in four and slather each section up, like one section, two, three, four, slather it up. I'm just going to put it in my hair. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab some of this. Wow. This right here was my stuff. My hair is gonna look so wet. I wonder if like this is the magic product that y'all need that say that um, you can't keep get your hair to stay in the wet look. This might be what you need. Very interesting putting this in my hair. I really wonder how my hair is gonna react to it. That's what I'm interested to see. Always had to make sure to get them dry spots. My dry spots are right back here in the back, in the kitchen. Uh, I wonder if my shirt's gonna be stained. I hope not. Okay, it looks good right now. Okay, and then I remember I always used to comb my hair out. Oh my God, it is hard to comb with all of the... <laughs> it's very hard to comb with those products in. Not going to lie. It just feels so thick. What the heck? I just combed you when you were perfectly untangled. Dang, I used to part my hair. So I feel like I should part my hair because I'm doing my hair just like I used to do. If y'all hear this farting noise, it's my chair, it's leather. I didn't, I didn't think that one through when I got it. So I just try not to move. <laughs> but today I'm moving. Anyway, I'm gonna part my hair. I used to part my hair like this. <laughs> yep, that that's my part right there. Dang, and like I didn't even have a Denman brush back then, and this is my life. This is how I get my curls to clump up. So I guess it's just gonna do a little scrunch for me today. Oh, I do know what I used to do instead of a Denman brush. I used to use a regular bristle brush. And the reason why I did all these products back in the day was because I wanted my hair to stay small and wet looking because I really liked the way it looked. I didn't used to wear my hair huge and giant like I do now. I will say that. Last but not least, I didn't use exactly this exact mousse all the time. I usually use a Tresemme one. I just knew I used mousse on my hair because gels weren't very good for curly hair back then. They would just flake up in two seconds. You know, gels were crusty. But anyway, I'm gonna use this Garnier um, Curl Construct Creation Mousse. This is just like the mousse that I had, so I'm gonna use it. And I don't like mousses on my hair at all. So, I don't know how I used to do it. Anyway, time to mousse it up. And then I would just place it on my hair. I hate the way mousses feel. I feel like I'm putting glue in my hair or something weird. A wet product that just turns weird feeling. What? I just can't do it. I don't like the feeling of mousses. My face is why I'm putting this mousse in. I'm like, ugh. 
I just hate it. But anyway, here is the final look after I just put everything in. I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry because I want the full results. I used to let my hair air dry. This is how I go to school with my hair soaking, dripping, looking wet like this. I'm gonna go ahead and let this air dry and then I'll be back later in the day to show you how it turns out and what it looks like. If it still looks like this, if it looks a hot mess, if it gets big, I don't know. Who knows? I guess we're gonna find out. All right, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Okay, hello everybody, I am back. It has been about five, six hours and my hair is dry completely. And this is how it dried. So I'm telling you, it's quite obvious. If you want the wet hair look, grease. These products, they just work good for that. <laughs> I really did like wearing my hair the wet look back in the day because it was smaller, obviously. Um, but I did wear my curly hair, but I didn't. I didn't really like ever experiment with it being huge. So this is what the bag looks like. It's actually very looking, it's looking very hydrated, right? And quenched. You know, she's not thirsty. She's not crunchy, she's just a little greasy. That's all. I mean, I'm sure people still use these products today, which is not bad. I just like, I, this washing machine. That's a little better, I had to shut my door. But, I mean, what I was saying, it's people probably still use these products today, which is not bad. I just personally wouldn't do my hair how I used to do my hair back in the day. And I don't actually don't have grease stains in the back of my hair, like it's not stained wet. I'm surprised. So I would actually leave my hair just like this. I wouldn't scrunch it, I wouldn't pick it out or anything, but since that's what I do now, I just wanna see what it looks like since I mean, already did it. Um, and y'all see the results. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and get out, get my comb, put my hair upside down, scrunch it and pick it out and see if it makes it look nice. The grease on my hands. Honestly, it's not bad. I think the part that I put in my hair just made it very weird. If I flipped my hair on this side, like my curls just look wet and they're not. The magic of these kind of products. <laughs> They do look healthy though. I can't deny that. My hands are just so slippery. They look shiny, yeah. See, this is what my hands look like after I touch my hair. Just glossy. Would I wear my hair like this? I'm not sure because I touch my hair all the time. I don't know if I would want my hands to be this greasy. I would love to put this in my hair whenever I get a protective style. It'll stay hydrated. <laughs> It did weigh my curls down at the roots. That's why whenever it's parted, like there's literally no volume right here. It's on my head, but it's dry. Um, yeah. So if you're gonna use products like this, don't put it on your roots. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like I need to do a second wash for the day just to get this out. I don't wanna go to sleep with this. I don't know how I used to do that. Go to sleep with like greasy hair. And then I would wake up with clear skin. Maybe that's why my skin's so clear. Maybe there's something in here that just works good with your skin. <laughs> it's bringing back so many memories of back in the day of me doing my own hair. It's funny because my mom used to do my hair for a long time and then I, I just ran over and started doing my own hair. So she let me um, and I had to figure it out on my own. But honestly, my mom took great care of my hair when I was little. Like I had the longest little curly hair ever. I think it was just so long. Like look at these pictures. I'll put some pictures up right here so that y'all can see. My hair was just so long. Obviously that has to do with jeans. My mom has really long hair. But my mom took care of my hair so it was able to grow. But overall I'm so glad that more brands are making more curly hair products because back in the day like this was literally all we had. If you use any one of these products a lot of you curly people will tell me that you use these products. I just know because I just know these were literally the only things that they had back in the day. Which is why I'm saying I'm so grateful brands finally got the point that curly hair exists. Even though it always exists, it's like they just realized it exists. Which doesn't make sense 
to be completely honest, I'm gonna put that right there. But at least they're trying now. You know, 20 years later, at least they have a aisle of black hair products for us. But I will say there's still not enough. The number of straight hair products and shampoos and conditioners and products that straight hair people outweigh the number of curly hair products. And it's just the truth. Hopefully one day we will get there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun to do it. And it was fun to just relive my childhood hair for some hours. <laughs> These brands, you know, thank you. Thank you for making curl products 20 years before when y'all knew there was curly hair people, when other people didn't. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you use any of these products, please. I need to know, I need to know. Anyway, I will see you guys in my next upload. Bye.